Hi everyone, this tutorial is going to show you how to turn a PDF worksheet into an editable worksheet in Google Slides. To start, if your worksheet is a paper copy, you can take a picture with your phone, or you can scan it in and transfer it into your drive. So I'm going to go to a PDF in my drive. I, you can either open it or you can click right-click and preview. Now what I'm going to want to do is take a screenshot of this and it's a little too big right now so I'm going to press control minus or command minus depending on what kind of computer you're on just enough so I can see the whole sheet once I can see the whole sheet I want to be able to take a screenshot so again depending on the type of computer you're on if you're on a Mac you're going to hit command shift 4 if you're on Windows, we're going to use the snipping tool. And if we're in a Chromebook, we're going to use Command Shift with the Windows Shift key. So I'm on a Windows right now, so I'm going to open the snipping tool. Now the snipping tool is down the bottom. Uh, hit your Windows to st oh, start it and look for snipping tool. Or you could have put it in the search, so snip and sketch. So we're going to do this. We're going to hit New. And we're going to take our crosshairs and just at the very edge, capture the worksheet. I want to save this. I'm going to hit the Save button. And it will save it by date if we want, or we could call it whatever the worksheet is and save. So that's saved in my pictures. Close that down. So I'm now going to open my drive. Well actually I'm going to put my screen back to normal size. Go back to my drive and I'm going to open a new Google slide. So a few things to set up while we're here. We don't need themes, we can close that. I'm going to hit layout and just say blank so that I don't have all of those text boxes that are already there. I'm going to go to file and down to page setup. And I'm going to make the page size the same as a sheet of paper. So I will hit custom and I'll do eight and a half by 11 and apply. Now this is a little small for me, so I'm going to go over to here in Zoom and put it at 100%. So now we're ready to insert the image, but we're not going to hit insert an image, we're going to insert it as a background. Hit background, choose image, and find it wherever it is in your on your computer. So I'm going to hit browse. Mine was in pictures. There's my worksheet. And hit open. And done. And it puts it in to the worksheet. Now on a Windows computer, the screenshots are not as clear. But if you Google it, you can find out how to make the resolution a little bit better on a Windows computer. It doesn't seem to be a problem with a Mac. It's nice and a nice clear image. So continuing on, we are now going to create boxes. Many people at this point insert a text box, but the text box are too easily moved around by the students and are also deleted by the students by mistake. So what we're going to do is insert a table instead which is just less easy to move around. So we'll go down to insert, down to table, and we're going to make it a one by one. Now where did it go? Here it is down here. I'm just going to resize it. And I'm going to drag it up to where I want it. I got to get that cross on there to get it to drag. And there we go. Now I'm going to click on it and make sure that uh, put a, letter, a number in there, see how big it is. If you want it bigger, you can increase the size of the font. You could also change the font if you'd like. 
and you could actually have it middle uh, left or right by clicking any of these. I will put it to the right for this question. And let's see what it looks like. That looks good. So delete it. And now I have the box. If the when the students click on it, they'll be able to put the answer in. So I'm going to try to duplicate this. I'm going to press Control D for duplicate, and it makes another one for me. And I'm going to drag that one over and put it into place. And again, click on it press Control D, drag the new one over to where you want it, and continuing on until you finish the worksheet. Now, before I move on to Google Classroom, I just want to show you that sometimes people don't want the actual box. You can get rid of the box that's there by going up to your border color, clicking on it and you can change the border color or you can make it transparent so i can make it transparent now you'll see when i click away that i don't see a box there at all but the table box really still is there so that's up to you whether you would like to be able to see the boxes or not so now that my worksheet is ready to go i'm going to assign it in my google classroom so i will go to my google classroom classwork create assignment call it whatever you'd like you can give instructions to the students and you're going to add it from your google drive so we're going to make sure we choose the right one this defaults to recent make sure that you're choosing the one with the slides and insert and now the most important thing for you to remember to do is to click the down arrow and make a copy for each student once that copy is made for each student, you cannot make any further changes that will show up to them. So your sheet has to be, your slide has to be ready to go. So we can decide what we want over here, whatever you want to make it worth. You can give it a due date. And you can put it in a topic if you'd like. This was our math sheet and so on. So we are going to assign it. You can assign it right away or you can schedule it. I'm going to hit assign. Okay, let's see what this looks like from the student's point of view. I'm now logged into the classroom as a student. You can see that the teacher has assigned a new assignment. I'm going to go to my classwork, have my science, and here is my math topics. Here is my worksheet. I can click on it, open it, and here we have it again. Just as we said before, to make it more visible, we can zoom in to 100%. So you can remind the students that. And now I did three of these. So the student can simply click and put the answer in. You can see the difference between the block being very easy to see or this one where I had taken the border off of it. So that's it. Uh, there you have it, how to turn a PDF into a worksheet.